Hello, good afternoon. Today I will be giving you a description of Thanksgiving part two. To begin off, to, I will say a description of Thanksgiving to me is being thankful, thanking God for all that he has done for us, eating plenty of good food, Fellowshipping and enjoying family and friends. Being just thankful for the things that God do for us every day. Sharing with family and friends. Mm, flashbacks of things that God have done for you and why you are so thankful today on Thanksgiving. That, to me, is the description of Thanksgiving. Well, the first Thanksgiving was a feast, a lot of food, a feast, to celebrate the pilgrims' first harvest. It took place in Plummet, Massachusetts, in the year of 1621. Lots of eating and lots of games. More Native Americans than pilgrims. It was a happy time for everyone. The pilgrims had sailed to America from England in 1620. They came over on a ship called the Mayflower. The pilgrims was taught how to grow all kinds of vegetables. Those vegetables gave them plenty of harvest for the winter time. George Washington, the first United States president, tried to make Thanksgiving a national holiday, but he didn't succeed. In 1863, President Abraham Lincoln declared Thanksgiving a national holiday. It was declared that Thanksgiving will always be the fourth Thursday in November. Students, we all know this is the month of November. It is the fall season. It is here at Rayfield and every way all over the world, Thanksgiving is being celebrated. They will be celebrating Thanksgiving on that fourth Thursday of this month, which is November. Ready for that turkey, that stuff in them pies and them cakes, right? What is Thanksgiving? Let me share with you what Thanksgiving is. Thanksgiving is a national holiday, a day that families travel from afar, coming together to cook, to eat a harvest of good food that God has provided for us. It's a time when family come together to give God thanks, thanking him for his goodness, his grace, and his mercy. On, Thursday, on Thanksgiving Day, there are lots of parades, football games on TV all day to watch with your family and your friends. Plenty of good food. Food is everywhere. Everywhere in the kitchen, you will see all different types of food. Family and friends eating, fellowshipping with each other, and eating again, and eating again, and eating again. That is what Thanksgiving is. Why is it called Thanksgiving, I wonder? Well, I think it is called Thanksgiving because people are thankful for all that God do for them. Families come together sharing amongst each other, telling each other 
what they are thankful for and thanking God for all of his goodness. We must always remember that Thanksgiving holiday is being thankful. Being thankful is all about celebrating Thanksgiving, sharing and giving, eating and loving on each other. Don't forget to give God thanks for all the things that he do. He have done what he is going to do and what he have done. Thanksgiving is the day to be thankful. Thank you, Father God, how you have provided for us. A day to give God his thanks. And a day to share and to give to families and friends, loving on each other. I would like to say to my Father God, thank you, Father God. Thank you for our family and our friends bringing us together in one place. Thank you for providing our everyday need. And most of all, thank you, Father God, for loving us. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Again, I will say a description of Thanksgiving is being thankful, eating plenty of food, having lots of fun with family and friends, giving, sharing, and loving each other. We at Rayfield would like to say to each and every one of you students, Happy Thanksgiving. And don't forget, don't forget to give God his thanks first. Then love on your family and friends Sharing and giving is part of the description of Thanksgiving. Be thankful. We love you here at Rayfield. And again, I will say, Happy Thanksgiving.